Well met everyone, Maka here with Moonshadow Fantasy, a quick guide to Devour for our static team tonight. Uh, we're going to show you it in regular mode, then in slow-mo. For circle pattern, we're always going to start on the opposite side of where the teeth started. If the teeth move on its second movement towards us, that indicates to us it is circle pattern. So for circle, we're going to start two pizza slices uh, on our right, hugging that middle line there. And always, regardless of pattern, on the second jump, that's when we start moving. For circle, we move counter. We move clockwise two slices. On the fourth jump, we move counterclockwise backwards, staying in the inside of the A, B, C, D, and running straight to the back to our puddles, which is tank, healer, melee, range. So tanks are always at A, healers are at B, melees at C, and range at D. If someone dies, it's on the off tank to get into the puddle that needs someone. So we're across from the teeth. We see that that second movement, the teeth came towards us. So that means circle. We then pre-position ourselves for circle pattern by standing right in the middle uh, of the two pizza slices off to its left or right. Because the first jump's gonna be there, so we wanna not get clipped by that. And always on the second jump, that's when we start our movements, regardless of pattern. On that second jump, we move clockwise about two pizza slices, staying on the inside or on the markers, and then we move on the fourth jump, that's when we move counterclockwise back towards the way we came, and head just head straight back to avoid any other movements. Once we're um, waiting for the teeth, at the very beginning, that's when you want to make a mental note of where your marker is, because upon that uh, sixth jump towards the end, that's when you want to dash towards your marker and stand in it. Now for zigzag, which I think is a bit easier of a mechanic, we start across from it as always. It went back to which it came, so it's not towards us. So as soon as it goes backwards the way it came, we know it's zigzag, we're staying. Again, we wait the two jumps. We then go counterclockwise, staying on the inside or walking right over the puddles, all the way to the back corner. And then around the sixth jump, we can just head towards our markers. So it's really easy. It's just counting the jumps and knowing which way we're going first, staying on the inside, not fearing the puddles, and walking right over them. I do it all the time. You won't, it won't heal you. The second you get off the puddle, the, the burn ticks stop happening. So for zigzag, we'll see it again in slow-mo. Again, we start across from where the teeth originally started. We're making a mental note of where our marker is, A, B, C, D. We're watching the first movement of the teeth. It went back to which it came. So we stay, knowing it's zigzag. We don't worry about the where the teeth are going after that, because we don't need to. We wait for the second jump, always. And then we're just going counterclockwise to the back, staying on the inside of the A, B, C, D, or walking over the puddles. So there's jump number two. And then boom, we just kind of move around a little bit, kind of clockwise-ish, head straight back, save your sprints for Devour until you get really good at it. And then upon the sixth jump-ish, you can head straight towards your marker, wait there for your team members. If someone dies, someone gets clipped, it's on the off tank to stand on the puddles. Again, we need two people per puddle with only one tank. Um, in the puddle A, so that the boss can eat the ad. That's Devour. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Rewatch it again. Share it with your friends or family. Please join our Discord, as we always need people for more farm parties. And we will see you tonight, Static and Raid. Maka is out.